Kyoto Koto. Um, it's it's nearly New Year's. Where's the time gone? Um, it's gonna be a um kind of personal korero about uh, New Year's and feelings and shit. Um, I don't generally have a good time at New Year's. Surprise! Um, it is by far the most difficult part of my year. Every year. And I've spent a lot of time in therapy and in, you know, countless appointments with psychiatrists and um, countless phone calls with um, helplines. It's still not any easier. And I think, you know, I've hit this point in my life where I have to accept that I can't just magically be okay. Like, that's such an unrealistic expectation. I can't just wave wand and suddenly I'm fine. Because I'm not going to be. Um, and I think this is something that I've been working for a long time on understanding. But the fact is... The events on New Year's several years ago kick-started a really bad downward spiral for me where I went through about six months in a relationship that got progressively more abusive to a point where I was being physically abused in this relationship and to a point where even when she wasn't there she was like continuing it from afar and um it's such a shitty thing to go through and it's such a shitty thing to go through in your formative young adult years where you're still learning how to navigate all this stuff and suddenly you're navigating this really intense um really dangerous stuff on top like at the same time as I was learning how to um you know how to pay my and like pay my power bill I was learning how to de-escalate when my ex was getting physically abusive And I don't think that's a tool that anyone should ever have to learn and I hate that that's a thing that we have to learn in this day and age. Um, so like fast forward and I every year at New Year's have gone through the same thing where I get up to it and I think right this is going to be scouts year I'm going to do this it's going to be great it's going to be fine and then it's not. And then I get to this point where my brain starts spinning because, you know, what have we spent all this money on rain if, like, on counselling and, um, psychiatrists and psychologists, what have we been doing with our lives for the last couple of years if we're not better? And I think that's such an expectation that I don't think I'm going to meet. Like, I don't think I'm going to just magically be better one day. Because <laughs> that's just not feasible. Like, I... When I called a helpline earlier today, and the person on the other end said, So, if someone else was going through what you're going through, and you were in their boat, if you were in the boat of your friends looking after someone who's having a really shit time and going through this PTSD stuff, what would you say to them? And I said, well, look, this is something that I've pulled out numerous times just in the last couple of weeks with different people. Um, I... When it's other people in this boat, I say that I would be actually deeply concerned if they were not 
going through a shit time in response to this because that would mean that they were repressing something. And it's probably important every year around New Year's that I feel this shit, not for some gratuitous, I have to harm myself way, but in some, this is how I process and this is how I need to process this. And I think we put a lot of expectations on people who have been through trauma to magically become, well, magically being normal and magically not go through these episodes anymore and I think that's unrealistic. You know, I have post-traumatic stress disorder and I've got bipolar disorder and I am not going to magically wake up one morning and not have either one of those things. There's not a pill that I can take that's going to cure me. There are things I can do to manage. And I do those things every single day. And in this world, I think we have to be okay with just managing. I think that we have to accept that sometimes the best someone can do is manage. And that recovery isn't some linear thing where one day you wake up and you're recovered. Recovery is spinny and like a roller coaster and like you're tumbling down this hill and there's a cliff at the bottom and you've got to climb your way back up but you know there are going to be cliffs to climb, there's going to be some gentle rolling hills, there's going to be um, you know ledges that you'll be hanging off but you might get to the top and it'll keep going you know it's it's never ending <laughs> and I'm working on being okay with that myself but managing everyone else's expectations um, is something I also need to work on um, everyone else's expectations that I will magically be better one day. I'm not. You know, I get told, don't, don't go for this opportunity now, wait until you're well. There's not going to be a day where I'm any more well than this. And I admit that today I'm doing a little worse than I would be other days, but there's not going to be a year where I'm going to be totally fine because that's just not possible. It's unrealistic. We have to be okay with mentally ill people just being allowed to manage. Just 2018 resolution. Let mentally ill people just manage. Don't put expectations on us. Don't put us on another pedestal. Don't tell us that we're not worthy unless we're void of our mental illnesses. Because actually, for a lot of us, Minus these mental illnesses, we'd lose so much of our personality, we'd lose so much of our identity, we'd lose those things that make us us. Like, the fact that I'm able to spend hours working on a project, um, totally focused, can smash something out in a couple of weeks, and it's this amazing big thing. I wouldn't be able to do that if I didn't have hypomanic episodes. And the come down is real shit, and there are times during those episodes that are real shit, but, like, a lot of these things that I'm lauded for publicly, I then, like, these are things that come from my experiences with mental illness, these are not things that I can, these are things that I will lose if I magically am not mentally ill anymore, and I think we need to look at people as a whole person, and our diagnoses and these labels that everyone hates, they're a part of us. And, you know, I am bipolar. I have PTSD. I am a survivor of trauma. These are things that are not going to go away. You know, I talk about that in my TED talk <laughs> that you should watch. Um, so I think that's everything that I wanted to get off my chest. 
which is good because it's been 10 minutes now. Um, I, I hope everyone has a safe New Year's. Um, I'm going to be working really hard to make sure mine is safe as well because at this point I'm going to have to work for it. <laughs> yep. Keep having a safe holidays and if, um, if you do need support it's okay to ask. It, it doesn't make you weak. It makes you a person and a person making the right choices and doing the right thing. <laughs>